Looks like the weird transition thing is having a problem, but hello everyone, Basif here. Welcome to another session of Quarantine. Uh, let's see, our party left off last week on, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, they met the wizard, and they are big earthquake thing happened, Cookie and uh, they were going to go investigate this big hole that was in the ground uh, that was kind of shrouded by some sort of a, a black, gesture. Un you couldn't see through it, opaque area and they were gonna go investigate that what's going on gups josh fragger what's going on all my dear friends thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys hanging out so early um i'm excited um little heads up uh Rokax is gonna miss this session and possibly next session as well unfortunately <laughs> i got i can't breathe um but hopefully uh things will work out just fine but i'm excited uh, to continue playing, Josh, I am feeling much better today. Thank you for asking. Um, hopefully it's nothing too serious, but I need to go in for another CT as early as Monday to find out what the heck's going on, but I am feeling better today. I appreciate it. Um, but let's go ahead and switch over and say hello to the party. What's going on, my friends? Okay. Uh, what's up, my dude? I can hear you guys. There we go. Um, oh, perfect. Let's see. <laughs> Um, okay, we're just gonna act like we didn't have a week's break or did we we didn't play last week, right? No, we didn't play. No. Um, so we're just gonna act like there was no break in between and we're gonna jump straight into this. You guys ready? I'm ready, my dude. Yep. Rock on. Is uh is Corin here? I don't know if she came back. Yeah, yet. I'm here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to check before uh we went live. I apologize. But Oh no, it's okay. We are here, my friends. Let's see. You guys uh, we're about to go into this un... I can't think of the word besides opaque, but you can't see through this little haze thing in the ground. Um, and you guys are about to go in that. Rokax slowly reaches out um, because you can't see what's beyond it. And uh, as his... You can see, like, he's reaching out normally. Like, but then as soon as his hands, like, his fingers come into contact, it feels like a barrier, and you see he has to actually use force to kind of push him through. It kind of looks like a jelly substance. And he's pushing yep. through, and suddenly... Oh, I need, a, I need to roll a die. Here we go. And uh, as he's pushing through, you actually see the color from his skin start to fade. Uh, he starts to go uh, pale, and uh, he kind of falls down to one knee and uh his hand is kind of stuck and he can't pull it back out uh he seems to his uh strength and his life force seems to be draining from him um uh. yeah and he's struggling to pull pull his hand back out uh, it's slowly coming out though looks like he's struggling anyone help him I think it'd be wise first for someone to do an arcana check, whoever's like most proficient in that. Uh, you guys did an arcana check last good. time. And it, did we? I couldn't remember yeah. that. My bad. No, Anyone it's all good. who has like a high strength, maybe. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to touch <laughs> him. Wanna it, like, touch you know, it. No, 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 it's like, it's like, you know, when someone's been electrocuted, you don't touch them because, you know, it could pass on to you. I don't mm -hmm. want to go over there and have loose shoes kind of drained. So, um... I don't know. Um, is there is there anything else around us like, of of notice? Oh, well, like, the, anything that stands. The, there's out? like two by fours and stuff. Oh, everywhere. because remember the fucking earthquake happened, and there's yeah. probably broken pieces of anything nearby. Okay, okay so well, I have I have uh, rope still in my in my bag. Would I be able to attach it to an arrow and see if I could lasso him? Maybe not an arrow, because it's just going to fly through him, but you could, like, wrap it around him and try to pull him. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to need uh, Lushu's help, since I am very tiny. Okay. Uh, so, I, I grab out the rope, and I tie it into a lasso. Okay. And I uh, attempt to lasso him. What okay. do I need to roll? Uh, that's he's he's a willing participant, so you can just you yeah, know um, yeah. throw it around him. Um, but you guys can roll a a strength check and tug on it. Uh, 
Oh, uh, almost a freaking natural 20 on turn Jesus one. Already. You just ruined your rolls for the rest of the game, though, right? <laughs> well, Hancock can do it as long just as they fine. Don't turn out like yours. Yeah, you, you did it just fine. You pull it and you just whoop, and you're able to successfully pull him from this goop. Uh, but Rokax is unconscious. Uh, you see, he is pale. He has lost all color. Um, he, but he's just laying you, unconscious on the we ground now. Do you see anything like else, like wrong with his arm? Is it just faded, or is it just? No, uh, as as you pulled him away, the the jelly kind of slurped back off of his hand and just kind of reformed into uh, the, the opaque substance that's there. Um, the uh, the wizard. Oh, I need I need my paper. There we go. There he is, Eldred. That's his name. Uh, Eldred uh, sees what's happened and rushes over, and uh, immediately, um, since you know he's a wisdomist person, uh, he knows about pulses and stuff. So he checks his pulse. And uh, he he kind of his face gets worrisome, and he's like, "I don't remember if I gave him a voice, but we're gonna give him one." Um, he says, "His pulse, his uh, life force is very low right now. We need to get him to the tower." And uh, he kind of ushers over some uh, the the commoners and stuff in the town to try to come uh, lift him up. You know, he's in heavy armor though, so it's kind of hard. So they actually start taking off some of his armor to take him to the tower. And uh, Eldred kind of faces you you guys and says, uh, that I was not expecting. Um, just a, a quick one. Was there any damage to the armor? Or was all of the damage purely done to Rokax himself? Like the it, little goo didn't affect the armor anyway? Or nah. left some sort of residue that we could test more? No, nothing like that? Um, no, nothing, nothing on his armor. It was, it just went like up his hands a little bit. Like he got maybe like up to his wrist. Um, okay. But, uh, the um... wizard, wizard kind of walks over to the goop and kind of observing it himself and starts putting his hand up near it. Doesn't touch it, obviously. And, uh, starts doing some different kinds of chants, different kinds of lights and sparks and so start coming from his hand. He's obviously trying to investigate whatever this is and what could possibly be happening. Okay, so um, Lushu's gonna um, walk up to Eldred um, and just say, so, has, do, you, do you understand what's going on here? I do not, but something is certainly amiss here. It does... He, he kind of puts his hand back up to it, and he says to him, he's like, hmm, it does have a very similar signature to all the weird happenings that are happening, or been going around uh, around the world. Okay. So it's very similar. Who it, asks, um, can you sense whether it's a good or evil um, presence that he feels surrounding it? It doesn't have any sort of alignment, uh, but it does definitely bears the signature of everything we've seen. I ask, um, Eldred, is that his name? Mm -hmm. I ask Eldred if, um, healing would help him. Like, I don't think it would, but I just, um, wanted to know. You're talking about, uh, healing Rokax? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he responds. Is that too loud? Sounds a little loud. Yeah. I mean, it's right on our end, but yeah. There we go. Um, he says, it's un unknown at this moment, but uh, considering that uh, the effects on Rokax, I would not suggest trying to go in there until we find some sort of remedy to protect you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well I'm I'm going to I'm going to turn back and I'm just going to I'm going to help the um the villagers take Rokax up the tower cuz I think there was a few of them he's out of his armor but he's a big boy. Um so you know I'll, I'll go and help and make sure he's yeah. um okay upstairs basically. Um put him where he needs to be. Okay. Um I guess that so that's you. Uh what does the rest of the team do? Um, I want to just 
go around where it's safe and just investigate. See if I can pick up on any sort of details. Okay. Uh, you're you're just kind of seeing if you can figure anything out with the... Um, yeah. Whatever the goop is. Yep. Okay. Um, I would also like to kind of like from a distance, not touching the, the goop, but you know, trying to figure out maybe what it might be made of or what exactly um I mean we already know that what it did to Rokax, so mm -hmm. um I wanna see if poking it with a stick will do anything. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. We don't actually <laughs> we don't actually know what it did. We only saw what happened to Rokax. We only yeah. saw the color lead. We don't know we don't know if he's still alive. We don't know if he's stunned in some sort of coma. We don't know if he's poisoned. We don't know anything about it yet, so I, I'm still going to be weary, um, even though I'm not just out. To say it out of character, I'm still weary about that gate and that goo. Um, just until we know what's happened to Rokax, I don't think we should honestly be going near it, but that's your call. Okay, so Pancake, you, you, you said you stab it with a stick? <laughs> I want to poke it with a stick, yes. Okay. Um, oh, what yeah. kind of stick? I'm curious. I'm sorry. What, what kind of stick? No, I'm curious, too. Like, um, like a stick of, like, a house that was like nearby? A stick or something. A living know. stick? You, you, you said there was, like, you know, a two by four. Stick. Stick. Floor, right? a, a stick that was from a tree recently. Okay. So, <laughs> um, you, you take, like, a stick with, like, leaves and stuff on it, and you kind of... Yes. Try to poke it through. All right. Well, uh, as you poke it, you can obviously see that the stick kind of gives way a little bit because there's some sort of resistance there. But as you continue poking, it finally slips through, and you can actually see the life force of the leaves actually get sucked out of the the stick itself, and uh, they begin to go brown and crusty, and they fall off the stick. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I uh, very quickly take it out so that it doesn't, like, transfer to me. <laughs> That's and right. And then I uh, turn to my party members and I say, well, I, I, I believe that it has something to do with life force. As you can see, this branch that was very green and had tree leaves on it is now dead and decayed. Well, I'm, I'm not here, so I can't mm -hmm. reply to that. I'm, I'm up in the tower. Uh, Lucy, we'll say that uh, you get up into a little medical bay area in the tower uh, with uh, the commoners and stuff. Uh, they're situating Rokax up and uh, making sure that uh, there's some fresh water nearby and any sort of tonics and potions and stuff. They're kind of gathering up some herbs and stuff and... Uh, Maybe uh, 30 seconds later or something, uh, Eldred shuffles up the stairs behind you. And uh, he just walks right past you and immediately kind of goes over and takes his, his wrist and places it on uh, Rokax's head. And uh, he says, he's gone very hot. And uh, you, you can see uh, Rokax is actually starting to shiver. His, bo his body is shivering and he's starting to sweat. Okay, so he's alive. At least that, there's that. He's alive. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, well, I kind of I kind of look towards Eldred and I say, "Is there anything we can do quickly? Does he need anything? Any way I can help?" He says, uh, "We haven't seen anything like this before, but uh, I'm hopeful that in my my own knowledge or in the many tomes that we have stored in the back." We may be able to find some sort of remedy uh, to cure him of whatever ailment he seems to have been afflicted with. But well, without even saying anything else, I'm going to turn back towards those books and start looking through, like skimming the uh, like the titles, etc., to see if anything jumps out as to what's just happened. Anything with like paralysis, anything with weird goop. Uh, any, any sort of book that kind of uh, yeah kind of stands up to the situation. I'm gonna do a quick skim and see if I can find anything before pulling anything down. He he comes over to you and he sees that you're frantically looking for any sort of answers, and he places his hand on your shoulder and he says, "I commend your loyalty to your friend, but this is not the time 
You need to be going to figure out what is going on. He's like, you can't, you obviously cannot go in there until we find sort of cure or protection for this ailment. But you cannot stop on your quest to figure out what has been going on. You need to head, head to Welton. Your friend is in good hands here. Do not worry. Um, is Welton a town or a person? <laughs> it's a town. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, then, so... I look at him and I, I thank um, Eldred, so... Um, thank you, Eldred. Please look after Rokax. I'm sure if he was able to speak, he would be saying the same thing mm -hmm. as you. To carry on. Um, thank you for your help. And then I kind of turn around and start making my way back down to the others. Okay. Uh, he waves you off. Good luck, my friends. And uh, he immediately turns to Rokax and uh, he kind of, he just starts checking different, uh, his vital signs and making sure like he, ha he has reflexes and he's able to move and stuff. He's obviously just doing some sort of, uh, any sort of medical do diagnostics he can do. Using big words for uh, medieval times, but whatever. Um, uh, as you head back down, uh, you see your team checking out the goopy area and trying to figure out any sort of information they can gather on their own. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll walk up to the party and um, I'll tell them... Uh, let me get a comfy. There we go. I'll say, um, guys, I've, I've spoken with Eldred and... He, he seems worried about Rokex, but he, he's told me that we need to make our way to Welton. Um, and then I'll leave it there, yeah. <laughs> As you come down and you say that to your t uh, party member, you guys, in the uh, little distance, you hear a meow. And uh, you can turn around and uh, you see uh, Kyrian coming back up to join you guys. Mm, the cat is back. <laughs> cat <Yay>. is back. <laughs> Kyrian! Uh, Kyrian kind of waltzes up to Pancog and uh, kind of looks up at you. And uh, you see that she's carrying... Uh, Kyrian's a boy, right? He's yes. He's carrying some uh, a scroll on his back. I, uh, I take the scroll and I read it. Uh, it's from... Crap. I can't. It's been so long. What's the name of that town that you guys came from? Um, wit wit. wit Thank you. Wit. Apparently, everything's W's in my brain. Um, yeah. uh, it's from Witwick, obviously, from the townspeople, and it seems that they have actually come up with some sort of um uh, copacetic living situation with the rats. The rats are actually helping around the town with the farmers and the various different uh commoners and townsfolk um, helping them just around the town making small deliveries or you know helping get rid of other pests and stuff and they're actually living in a symbiotic relationship so the rats are doing say, this I obviously don't think I remember go ahead this is it. we didn't send anything to the, the people with Kieran we sent a letter about um the dude that got turned into stone from the Medusa. Yes. That I I was just that's coming. Um that this was information uh, just on the rats and stuff that they are they have found a way to live with the people. Um and so they're not gonna starve out. It does seem that the rats intelligence fluctuates with the moon phases. So when the yeah. when it's a uh, what is it? New moon is when it's no there's no moon in the sky, right? Yes. When the new moon, it seems yeah. like most of the rats go back to their feral instincts. They are just normal rats. So at that point, they've come up with a way to be like, cool, we know the new moon's coming. Keep the rats out of the cellars and stuff so they don't eat everything. But as their intelligence comes back towards the full moon, they help out with the town. In terms of... Um, God, I can't remember anyone's name. Um, oh, that, Belfany? Belfany and Belroy, yes. Yes. All right, yes. That's a side effect of the Belfany. stupid medication I'm on. Memory. Um, <laughs> but uh, it seems that uh, Belthony is kind of uh, brokenhearted at the at hearing that uh, Belroy has passed away. Uh, but the town is going to be able to uh, pick up 
his loss and move ahead. And, uh, because you guys just said that you found him dead, right? He, he, that he died heroically, uh, protecting a, right. a merchant and a, yeah. That's good. We basically lied and didn't tell her that, hey, he got turned into stone by mm -hmm. going to see this lady who turned out to be a Medusa. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, they, they all thank you for all the help that you've given to the town in general, and, uh, Belthony appreciates you guys, you know, risking your life, uh, to go find, uh, Belroy. She's sad that the outcome, but she's happy to know that he's not just lost somewhere, and, uh, hopefully he's resting in peace. So that's what happened with Whitwick. Um, you now have Kyrian back, and, uh... You guys have a mission ahead of you. Okay, then. So we need to make our way to Welton. Um, so this this town that we're in, um, Raska. Yeah, Raska, yeah. Raska. Um, so Raska, you said it was a, like a much bigger town than all the others. So they yeah. have like a better blacksmith, a better, you know, weaponsmith, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so before we go, um, I kind of look towards the party and say, so we have a, a long journey ahead of us. Um, we might not find another town for a while. And seeing as we're here, we might as well get some stuff. So is there anything you guys can think of that we need? Uh, health potions, I would assume. Yeah, that's all You all should I have three suggest. health potions still. I don't think mm. any of you guys have used a health potion yet. True, and I do have pure wound, so there is that. Okay. Okay, then uh, no, I don't think that there is. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think. Um... No, I don't think there's anything I really need either. No, I just thought I'd check. Okay then, well, I guess... We've been to so many towns and to to buy stuff, I think that's why we don't need anything. Big true, big true. <laughs> uh, so I think that's we should... our goblin friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The one who likes I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. But, uh, yeah, so I guess we should, um, start making our way to after he hit on you, Lucio? Both. <laughs> so, yeah. Should well, have, I should have go. let you drink the, uh, the milk. Oh, that's right. The growth, the goblin milk. Ew. The blood milk. I forgot about that. Yep, I should have let him drink it. So <laughs> gross. <laughs> All right, making sure that I have all you guys' people here. Echo, Corin, Pancog. There we go. Pancog, you're the one that needs to be added. There you go. Okay, uh, so you guys are he heading uh, to Welton then? Crap. Yes. Cool. Um, that's why it's not working. I can't rotate this stuff, and it's annoying. Um, anyway, so you head to Welton. Um, it's maybe a couple hours walk. Uh, journey to Welton itself. Um, as you uh, begin to uh, approach, um, let's see. You're, you're traveling through some uh, hills to, uh, to the west of the village. Uh, there's a white walled building out in the distance, and uh, it, that stands out among the, the green grass in the valley below. Um, around about mm, 150 feet. In front of you, there's a... Oops. Sorry. About 150 feet of you, <laughs> there seems a... There's a slight bend in the road where it passes between an outcrop of rocks and on the borders of a kind of like a mossy woodland. Uh, as you uh, begin to approach, you, you see a pair of men driving uh, a small flock of sheep through the gap uh, with the help of uh, a couple sheep dogs. <laughs> okay. Um, do they have anything, um, on them that we can see, like bags or 
crates, anything else, or is it just like you know them walking with the, yeah. the animals? Yeah, it's just them. Um, they, they're obviously sheep herders, and they're just moving their herd from one pasture to another, uh, around outside the of the city. Um, okay. as oops, uh, as you guys are uh, continue walking, you hear in the distance. You hear a couple wolf howls, and uh, immediately uh, you see the uh, the sheep herders immediately like they draw some clubs out, and they start to look frantic and nervous. Uh, the sheep dogs start barking frantically. Kyrian <clears throat> uh, okay. growling at any point. Uh, Kyrian's ears have perked up, but it's not growling. Um. Okay, can I go ahead and draw out my weapon and knock an arrow just in case? Sure. Um, in the blink of an eye. That's what I do. Oh, I was about to say before that. Was there any chance I could quickly, because rogue very fast, I'm gonna dash it. <laughs> um, any chance I can go closer towards the sheep herders and put down a bear trap? Oh, uh, not before this uh, happens. Okay, no problem, no problem. Plus, bear traps take, a, I think, a round to set up anyway. Oh, really? Oh, okay, Yeah, because you gotta set them down, put a, attach them to something with some sort of chain or rope, okay. and then you gotta open them. Makes sense. But in the blink of an eye, uh, some gray, uh, lean gray shirps, or shirps, shapes burst out from both sides of the road, all launching themselves upon the sheep uh, with incredible speed. Um... And uh, so th at that point, uh, you can obviously tell they're wolves, and uh, they're they're besetting upon these sheep herders. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go into my bag, and I'm gonna take out um, some I rations. Whistle. No, some rations. <laughs> um, some meat rations, and I'm gonna throw. Um, the meat rations, like, over the wolves, but not close enough to the, um, the sheep, just so they see it. Oh, you know what? Um, Hold on. Try and I gotta divert share their this. attention away from the, uh, the sheep for a moment. Okay, now you guys Ooh, should see map. something. And we're... Uh, I've got a lot of question marks. Oh, hang on, it's loading now. Okay. Uh, we gotta switch to... A scene! Diego. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the players are slightly off scene for people in chat. I apologize, but the map <laughs> it's slightly too big. Or I can maybe do this. <coughs> Aha! That'll work. Oh, that's goofy. Okay. Um, so there's your guys' map. It looks kind of goofy for you guys, but it'll work. <laughs> Sorry, I have to I have to toggle between these two different setups here. This one launches out. Ooh. You guys uh, can see this, right? Mike's not working. I'm gonna go help her out real quick. No problem. And you're saying that our characters are off screen? Or um, you you guys can see them. Characters. Um, you, you should see, be able to see your characters, right? You see them? Yes. Okay. And you see a, a few wolves pop out. I don't know. Hold on. Oops. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. Let's see. Do I see... I see you, Corin. You're down in the bottom right. Oh, Okay. I, w I only saw like two people on the the map, and I was just so confused. Yeah, I don't know why the map is getting cut like that. That's. I wonder if that's new in the Fantasy Grounds setup thing. Probably. Because it doesn't do that on uh, my screen. My screen looks fine. Yeah, but I can see my character now. 
I was just so confused. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you guys see it's Are all cut off it? weird, right? Yeah, like, you don't bit. see a shadow? No. Hmm. Something is strange with the line of sight. I don't know why the line of sight is all goofy. Yeah, you guys wanna, you'll wanna roll for initiative if you're gonna be, oops. If you're gonna be a, a doing anything. I'm trying to think what I can do. Well, first I'm you wanna roll for initiative. Range. Yeah. It's so weird, why is it all goofy? And cut off. I don't like that. I don't know. I may have to leave for Wait, uh, a few here shortly. Okay, I'll, I'll take. I can uh, move your character and stuff. Excellent. Like, <clears throat> well, I mean, I didn't roll the wrong thing. It's a plus two. So Sorry you got twenty-one. Yeah. All right. Let me. I'll add that. Twenty-one. You zoom to fit. There we go. Okay, so I can see things just fine now. I do not know why the map is all goofy cut off for you guys. It's very strange. We look very small. It's a bigger map. I got to zoom to fit. How did you zoom in? Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, if you I right click on it. it. Right click, right click. It's one of those things that you learned in that weird little tutorial thing that they made you watch. You see some things. I wonder if it's... Oh, I wonder maybe if I did the wrong type of walls. I'm not sure any of us can get up to them with our speed. I mean, maybe Wushu? I don't know. Well, I'm sure Kyrian might if he gets a running yeah. start. Also, we're still waiting for uh, Lushu and Miss Creation, or uh, Echo to come back anyway, so I will mm -hmm. be. Are we okay? I think we're okay. You guys are okay? We are okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> All right, back, get, 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 get the bubble out of the way, my dude, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Pancog already rolled. That's good. And Echo just rolled. That's good. Uh, I got to move Kyrian up. Where's what did Pancog roll? 17. Okay. I wish you could just link them. That would make things a lot easier. Okay. Um, well, as you see, the, these wolves kind of burst forward. Uh, we should probably get some different tunes, but I'll do that when it's uh, your guys' turn. Another wolf comes to burst out. And, whoa. What the heck is this? Something is weird. Oh, God. <laughs> this shouldn't be here. Okay, there we go. I can't rotate my stuff anymore, and it's annoying. Uh, this wolf bursts out from the shadows and uh, goes and grabs the sheep. And uh, oh. that will be that wolf's turn. Next. Uh, Corrin's turn. Um, I have to, I have to kind of, um, I have to get up to them to attack, right? Unless you have a spell that's, uh, within range. Um. Dang it, the weird cutoff thing is back. I don't fucking get it. I'm <laughs> trying to think if I can use produce flame, but it says, it says range area self, but it says you can throw a fireball, mm -hmm. so... You have to do a, 
you can use it, and then you can uh, use a ranged attack. To, excuse me, to uh, attack stuff. Okay, I might do that. Um, I'm not sure if I can get one of the wolves. I guess. Is it under actions yet? Yeah, it'll be uh, the ranged attack bit. Yeah, something is weird. Sometimes you can't fucking hide stuff, and other times you can. <laughs> or it, it cuts off the map, and other times it doesn't. Is it the... It's the... Um, uh, so, so you want to... Just roll the damage on them? No, you, you need to see if you hit them first. Okay, yeah, that's right. And that should be a ranged attack. It should be in your produce flame. Okay, here it is. Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. No wonder. Oh. <clears throat> there you go. Um, you wanted to see. Uh, so who are you casting that at? Which wolf? Um, probably the the one on the. Actually, probably the one that went after the sheep. Uh, both. Uh, there's like four of them that went after the sheep. Oh, um, the one on the very left? Yeah. Uh, number four? All right, so you did uh, produce flame. Do you, are you within range? It is a... Within, it says it has to be within 30 feet of you. They're definitely outside of 30 feet. Mm. Okay. I have a thing for 60 feet. So uh, I, I think they're outside of 60 feet, too. They're like a... 100 feet away. That's like 100, yeah. Okay, so I might just move up then, if that's the case. Um, or maybe I can just transform into something and then run. So it'll be faster. Um, let's check. Oops. Um... So I might just transform into a panther and just um go forward. Okay. There was a way that I could um, find out how far away you guys were from each other, but I forget. So you're gonna transform into a panther? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me Panther, let me drag that on for you. And you got a twenty one mm -hmm. initiative. So we'll do this. Panther, drag on. Did it get dragged on? It did. Okay, hold on. Delete. Panther, 21. And so that we'll just know as you. It doesn't have an icon, which is obnoxious. Um, but go ahead. So what you'll do is we'll have you keep your... Um, your icon for your player and go ahead and move that mm -hmm. and then I'll just count the panther as um you for in terms of stats and stuff okay do I move it like all the way towards the wolves or did you move it however you're wanting to move I don't know okay all right and is that it I don't attack or anything because I you said I couldn't attack well, you're pretty far away, so you yeah. can move your full speed if you want. Okay. Um, what is a panther's full speed? The full speed. A panther speed is 50, so you can move. You could move 100 feet if you use your action. And that's the end of my turn. All right. Yeah, that would be you. Um, now it's Pancog's turn. Um, Pancog could probably hit one from here. I think her range is 120. She's going to shoot at 
Wolf number seven. Let me get Pancog's sheet open. Tack. And... <laughs> and hits him. For three damage, and that wolf is dying, apparently. Wait, what? It's just an unconscious, so I think it was just an unconscious. Oh no, 17 effect. damage, oh, sorry. Oh! <laughs> it's a rip, two, two rip. wolf seven, 17 damage. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yep, that yep, wolf yep. is pretty much fucked. Uh, it's just yeah. unconscious. Um, so that's her attack. Kyrian is going to move up for the attack. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five. Oops. Ninety-five, one hundred. Okay. So that's Kyrian's move. Um, I'm gonna move Pancog above Kyrian if I can because it's annoying. Move up. Move, move. I can't. All right. Give her a slightly slower initiative. Okay. Um, now it's... I love one of the commoners' turn. They're kind of spooked because all, not only did a bunch of wolves pop out and start attacking, but this arrow came out of nowhere and phoom, nails one of these wolves in the back. And two panthers. Yep. I don't know if they... Yeah, they might have noticed the panthers by now, but they're like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, they're probably thinking you guys might be bad, actually. Oh no. Yep. Um <laughs> Well I mean we did attack the wolf. We did attack the yeah, wolf. Yeah, but they don't know the Panthers are with you. They're just fucking animals running at them. Th this is true. Yeah, so, you're right. um this commoner is he notices the the shot that happens on this wolf over here and turns around and then he sees two Panthers behind him and he panics even more. And uh but he does notice uh a couple humanoids in the distance. He's like and he just kind of shouts, please help us! And, um, he kind of, he's, he's going to move away from the fucking Panthers. <laughs> and, uh, he's going to go up and try to smack this wolf. Um, how come that wolf doesn't have a number? Um, but he's going to smack this thing. It's, uh, number five. Oh, wait, no, these other wolves, yeah, some of these wolves here don't have numbers yeah, at all. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why. This wolf doesn't have a number. Uh, yeah, this wolf doesn't have a number. I don't know why, uh, but he's just gonna smack at him. All right, I'm pretty sure he hit. What are the wolfy stats? Yeah, he definitely hit. Okay. Um, then he's going to attack for two damage. Next wolf's turn. Well, that wolf's unconscious. Dog. Oh, yeah, that one's the... He's the hurted one. Echo's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go in, maybe, if it makes it reap. And let's see. I don't even think an edge is blast will reach from where I am. I think it will. I think all uh, blast has a ridiculous range. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see. I'm gonna go for 120 feet. Yeah, I think you might have to move a little. You'll bit. have to move. You'll probably want to take your okay. normal move I'm up. Back. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. You'll probably want to take you your normal move, move just so you can back. definitely be within range. No, uh, you're moving, Lucio. Wrong moving? one, wrong one. Put me back. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't there. I'll put it. I'll put me where I was. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Also, like Lucio, Mr. Rogue going heckin' last, my dude. Right? It's a slow day. <laughs> I was tired from, you know, lifting rogue hacks up those stairs, you know? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I'm the only one here who hasn't really got any, like, decent ranged shit. <laughs> Everyone can cast spells and, you know, I got a little short bow. That'll be good. Oh. Let's see. Also, I'm gonna change up some there. musics. Mm. That is too epic. Ooh, we lost Panko. <laughs> uh oh. She back. That doesn't work. Okay, we didn't lose Pancog in Fantasy Grounds, thankfully. Oh, there she is. Well, she's back in Discord now, yeah. Gotcha. No, everything, like, froze. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so you should be able to use the Elders Frost from, uh, from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go for it then. Oh my lord. Okay, someone else might have to roll it for me because this is just too slow. Why the PC's really probably... slow. You want me to? Okay. Did you move your full movement? Yeah. 5, 10, 15, I, 20. I, did, yeah. I think you can move here. And you wanted to do Eldritch Blast? Yeah. Uh, on who? Uh, I think the nearest one. Well, four, four, I think. Yeah. All right. Aldred's Blast on... Well, four. You miss. God damn it. Uh, it's Wolf's Five's oh. turn. He kind of pops out. Five, ten, twenty. Grabs this wolf or sheep. Wolf six. Comes for this sheep. Actually, no, this wolf is going to attack this dog. He hits. Oof. Uh, that dog is almost dead. And is knocked prone. Uh, next wolf. New follower, by the way, Basive. We got a new follower. Yo! Welcome! Hold on, who followed? Chill, what's going on, my dude? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, we're in the middle of some combat. I will give them doggo some treaties, though. Say, take it for the treaties. Um, wolf. Another wolf is coming out. Bam! Busts out of the Ooh. shadows. Not that one. No, That's a dog. More. Dude, some of these, there's like duplicate wolves sometimes. It's weird. Um, this wolf comes in, uh, <clears throat> tries to, actually, he's going to attack this dog. And he crit misses. Um, that wolf is going to fall prone. I think that's an effect, right? Prone? Um, that wolf fell. Uh, Lucius turn. Ooh. 
All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, start my game of walking simulator. So, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What's up, kids? Um, and my short bow should be able to reach uh, wolf three from here, right? Uh, you might want to check the range. It should have enough range, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Short bow range is 80. Oh, between. Three, oh, yeah, yeah you're fine. Yeah, okay, we're good. You are right, completely perfect. fine. Hell yeah, dude. Um, all right, then. So, in that case, I'm uh, I got my shot bow and I'm gonna attempt to attack. Let me move over there so I can see it. There we go. Number three. Ooh. I'm guessing that hits. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, right, and then damage. Here we go. Ooh, eight. Cool. There you go. Uh, um, shock. And that will be my. You turn. hit for seventeen damage. Are you oh, sure? Because it says okay. I hit Sorry. for eight. You yeah. hit for eight. Yeah. Um, I see. Oh, wait, wolf. Hold on, did I? Uh, no, the seventeen was the wolf rolling, rolling system shock. I was very confused. Um, I oh, also, okay. I also forgot to have the second commenter go. He was supposed to go uh, after Pancog, so I'm gonna have him go. Um, and he's gonna flee up to Doggo. He's gonna attack is Wolf Six. Wolf Six is okay. He's gonna attack Wolf Six. Not attributes, targets. Not that. Offense. There you go. It's gonna swing. Swing and a miss. Okay, and he missed. And the dogs are supposed to go at the same time, and I forgot them, so I'm gonna roll for them. Uh, that's a miss. And this dog that's down, this one. I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm highlighting. Uh, actually hits the wolf that is prone for. Come on. One more. For four damage. And that is wolf number three. Wolf three. Oh, actually, that wolf is unconscious now. So good doggy. All right, you got a couple unconscious wolves. Uh, that was Lucius' turn. I can't click on this for some reason. There it goes. All right, wolf pops out. Dude, seriously, like, it's duplicating my wolves. <laughs> um... That's I was wondering why weird. Are you trying to force player deaths here, dude? Like... It's weird. I don't know what's going on. Stop I'm, it! I'm just gonna delete that one and move this it's one up here. I'm, I swear, it's a glitch that keeps copying and pasting some wolves. Uh, he's gonna. <laughs> Fantasy he, he's... Grounds is trying to kill us. More and more wolves. Mm. Um, this yes. wolf is actually yes. coming up to this commoner here. And he's not attacking him, but he's, you know, doing the dog, like, kind of a canine dodge and barking at him. Um, and just kind of avoiding, uh, getting hit. Uh, Wolf 1. He kind of springs out into action and grabs this sheep. Yep. Every time I click on one of these fucking wolves, it duplicates it. There you go. Wolf 2. Where's Wolf 2? Please don't duplicate. Of course it does. Because why wouldn't it? <clears throat> Telling you. Uh, unfortunately. Fantasy Grounds is trying to kill us. We're going to have 20 wolves on our hands. No, I, I, get, I like, get rid of them. Uh... Unfortunately, there's supposed to be different colored wolves on the battlefield, but apparently it gets confused and makes different versions of them. Um, but he grabs a sheep as well. All right. 
Round two. Wolf Four's turn. Who's Wolf Four? Uh, this guy. Okay, and he is gonna grab this sheep, and he runs off with it. So, <laughs> five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. <laughs> 50. And the sheep goes along with him. Corn's turn. Um, I am Jeez, Josh. probably going to, um... Corn's wolf 18. I'm going to <laughs> attack the the wolf nearest me. Uh, um, you're gonna have to... There isn't one near you. You're gonna have to run up to one. Oh... Uh, Yeah, that one. Well, around that. Yeah. There you go. Um. And I think. Oh, th wait. That one's unconscious. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um. So let's just move back over here. Um. I guess this one right here. Uh. The ones that are red. Actually, they're all red. The ones that don't have a little green bar next to them are not unconscious. And you're up against a sheep. Lamb shield. Lamb shield, yeah, right? A, liter <laughs> a literal meat shield. Um, <laughs> maybe we can just go around? Yep, that'll work. And then attack it? Okay. Oh, shit. Kind of, okay, fantasy <laughs> grounds. <laughs> well, you're, you're um, next to a dog now, so... You can go here to hit it. Okay. There you go. I wasn't sure what that was. You're fine. Thought it was like a rock or something. Oh, um, you can't control Panther, can you? So I'm gonna have it just do an attack for you. Um, I was gonna get it to try to like, well, actually never mind because I had to go around so I couldn't pounce on. Yeah, it. you can do a straight line. I don't. I don't... But um, you're gonna, you're just gonna attack. Which attack I think are you gonna it do? Has like. You can do bite I and think claw. It has like a bite. Mm -hmm. um, Your bite does more damage. Yeah, I was gonna say I might use the bite attack. Okay. You do you co automatic crit miss. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> How are you gonna crit miss? You actually, yeah, you still crit miss. You roll a one. Um, the wolf just kind of dodges out of the way, and uh. Nothing too serious happens. You just avoided attacking the doggo that was next to you, so that caused you to miss. Uh, commoner's turn. Oh, that's why it skips the commoner, because for some reason they're invisible. Do you guys not see them? Nope. There. Now you can. Nope. No wonder. That's why it skipped them in the turn order. Um, let's see. Commoner 1 is this guy. That one is unconscious. He's gonna come run over. Dude, the commoner's fucking duplicated too. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> All right. It works both ways. Yep. <laughs> we got this. I'm just gonna delete the ones that are duplicated. And move them to where they're supposed to be. There you go. Fantasy grounds is messing with you hard, dude. It's weird. Um, okay, so he's gonna attack this wolf number eight that's standing in front of him. Attack. He definitely hits him. Uh, he did some damage to the wolf. Um, this doggo. Is going to attack Wolf 3. He hits. Or 2 damage. Wolf 3, where are you? Oh, that wolf is already unconscious. Uh, that wolf, or this dog, runs over to help his master instead. And we'll just put the damage on that. Wolf 8. Boom. 
Boom. Okay. And the other doggo uh, ends up passing out because it was took so much damage on its last turn. So he doesn't get to go. Now it's Pancog's turn. Yay. Okay. The ones with the oh, green crap. health bars beside them are ones of full health, right? Yes. Mm. Now, I can't see what number these wolves are, so... If you zoom in, you can see them. It's I, just a bit well, obnoxious. My computer's dumb and doesn't want to zoom. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yes, it is. Very annoying. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think I'll leave the one with the meat shield alone. I think I will attack. I think that's a commoner. That wolf. Uh. Ooh. Oh, you. Attack at wolf six. Oh, you, for 17? Yeah, you hit. Okay, I'm using sharpshooter, so. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, make sure you drag it onto the wolf you're shooting at. Wolf six is unconscious. Uh, Ooh, okay. 15 damage. <laughs> Kyrian's turn. Okay. Um, Kyrian, Kyrian, Kyrian. Garyan is going to... Let's see. He is going to... Pounce. Uh, he has to run in a straight line. Okay, if he attacks... The one that's right beside the commoner on the very left side of the road. Is that mm -hmm. technically a straight line? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that might be out of his range, though. That's 10, 15, 25, 30, 40. 50, 50 feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he barely makes it. Uh, you're going to have to... Actually, no, you won't because you have to move through the dog or the sheep. So that will count as difficult terrain. So he wouldn't be able to make it. Oh. Okay. So... Tap him. Come on, thing. See the butt. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, okay. if you if so you if you move there. yeah if you move through a, a friendly, it's difficult terrain. Or not okay. necessarily friendly. If you move through any other space that's occupied. So it counts as double uh, movement speed. Or it takes double so, movement speed. Neat square is what, five? Yep. So that's 10, because you move through a sheep. So that's 30. Mm hmm. And then that's 40. That'll, that'd be 50. Yeah, 40. But you're on top of a sheep and you can't end your turn there. It's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have 10, 15, 25. Okay. That's where he's gonna... Tyrion's gonna end his turn there. Okay. Oh, I'm... No wonder it's not skipping turn because I'm not on the DM screen. Uh... Second commoner is going to take a bop at that wolf. Wait, no, that's the unconscious one. Um, actually, no, he's going to try to kill it. He And he misses. Oof. He missed with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Just, okay, wow. he, he was just really upset about his dog. 
That's why he missed. True. True. But Bill, how do you miss when you have an advantage? That wolf is unconscious. Uh, Echo's turn. How does? Yeah, okay. the butt, the butt spot. I love the butt spot. We just um, added that. What we're gonna say real quick is Kesh is gonna be off in a second. Uh, she's not feeling too good. Okay. Um, so it's up to her if she wants to carry on playing until the battle's over. But yeah, it's up, it's up to you, sweetie. What are you? What are you gonna do? Uh, shit. I moved ten and now I can't move anymore. Being, I think twenty. 25. I'm gonna take one shot and then I'm gonna have to sit out. I, I, I'm no willing to stay no problem. in just to, just for this moment. And then I'm, no, I'll bring you a tea I, in, in a minute. Let's see. There we go. No, you're so. Oh, uh, no, no, right. you want you need me to roll for you? Were you gonna do Eldritch Blast again? Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. it. Attack. Uh, which one are you gonna attack? Uh, one that's not unconscious. Number. Yeah, is that six? <laughs> uh, six is unconscious. Six, so three, and seven are one, unconscious. Five, one, five, two, or eight. Five, which I'm trying to see. <laughs> All right. We'll shoot for five. Um, you would be at disadvantage because you're shooting through something so we'll eldritch blast five mm -hmm. and you miss oh not my day <laughs> uh wolf five yeah. grabs oh. the sheep and bah! five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five and that wolf gets out with the sheep that was a good bleat, if I do say so myself. That was pretty good. All right, we'll hide him. Uh, wolf six is unconscious as heck. Wolf three is also unconscious. Lucius turn. <laughs> oh, she'll sorry, hey, man. Hey, why don't we take a break uh, for all a those are Whoa, look. I am now Echo, and I'm giant face. Um, yeah, none of those sound effects work right now, my dude. Sorry, uh, I disabled them for D and D streams. I'll refund your your uh, monies. I was gonna say, why don't we take a five minute break? Uh, yeah, you guys want to go ahead and take a break real quick? I need to fix the overlay, anyways. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and yeah. take a break. We'll be real quick. And actually, I'm gonna stay here. You guys can go ahead and take a break. I will hang out with chat for a bit. And fixed uh, the overlays. How's it going, chat? How are you guys doing? Anything new, crazy, exciting? Also, I had some other tunes playing. There we go. Oh, goodness me, sir. All right, I'm just going to go full screen real quick. And I'm going to stop the recording real quick. Let go. Let go. All right. I'm going to turn back the ambiance. Yes, we're in the forest and we're in mid battle. Let's go. All right. Whose turn was it? Lushu's turn? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Lushu, you're up, my dude. All right, then. Um, so I'm already moving up. No, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. I'm standing right here. I'm uh, get my short bow and uh, they're all kind of in the way. Uh, I'm gonna go for wolf number um, eight, but obviously I'll, I'll roll with disadvantage. Yeah, you'll get disadvantage. Um, Ooh. Yeah, miss. Ooh. All right, yeah, uh, that's my turn. <laughs> All right, Wolf Eight is uh busy distracting this.
commoner. And in the distance, you hear another. And the, the wolves all seem to More. respond. And Wolf 8 decides to uh, fl try to book it away from this commoner. So the commoner is going to get a... Actually, he's not going to get an attack of opportunity because he's a commoner. He's not trained in combat. Um, oops, I pushed the wrong button. Hopefully it's not a problem. Um, but this wolf is going to turn around and hightail it out of here. Can I... What the fuck? Chrome. Chill. Stop. Stop playing sounds. Listen to me. I am your master. Stop! Why are you still playing sounds? <laughs> Stop! Like, I have it on no play sounds and it's still playing sounds. Obnoxious. Um, so... 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, their speed is 50, so he's just going to get out of there. Because he just runs. He's out. Next wolf. Grabs the sheep. And tails it out of there. Bah! He's gone. Another wolf grabs this sheep, hightails it out of there. <laughs> Epic music with all these things just running around. And next round. Uh oh, wolf four. Yeah, he was he was running with the sheep. And he successfully finally gets out all right it's corn's turn actually um, everything around here is unconscious now <laughs> i figure they were either unconscious or ran away Ooh. yeah uh so pretty much combat is technically over since the other those three remaining wolves are uh, unconscious um so why is, I don't know, the overlay is being goofy right now. Um, but okay, so combat's over. The, uh, one of the commoners kind of lets out, stop roaring. <laughs> that what he says, huh? Stop roaring. Yeah. Um, I swear if a dragon actually came in here, <laughs> it would just kill all the sheep and. <laughs> he just eat them all in one big Us. swoop. Okay. So, um, yeah. combat is over. You guys are kind of in the woods here. Um, the, uh, far off commoner kind of, you see him kind of relaxing a little bit, but he's still kind of nervous that they might be, you know, ambushed again, but he ends up turning around and he ends up walking, uh, towards you guys. And, uh, he, he kind of wipes the sweat from his brow and says, thank you for your assistance. Um, the other commoner. Uh, is tending to his uh, unconscious doggo. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> well, I guess. Echo okay. And me um, I guess I'll be nice and see. Does the doggo still have a pulse? Uh, yeah. Very faint. Um, I am going to go ahead and cast tear wounds on the doggo. Okay. Um, you successfully bring the doggo back to a, a healthy spot, and you, you, as you cast it, you you kind of see uh, him go from sleep into his little tail start thumping on the ground, and he wakes up and he gives uh, that commoner a couple kisses on his hand. Well, I think that goes a long way into uh, getting them to trust us now. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Thing is, the last time you met somebody on the road, they thought you were a pervert. 
<laughs> um this is your little this size <laughs> uh the um i i have i talked to the commoner with the dog i said i've i've gone ahead and done the best i could with what i know um but he should be fine now okay uh the the commoner is he kind of turns around uh looks behind him he's got tears in his eyes and uh just thank you and he uh he's petting his doggo's head and she's like she's been a good girl served me a long time i would hate for uh her to go out now and doggo's kind of just sitting there blinking just taking the pets and slowly tail thumping on the the grass um the other commoner kind of walks up to you and says uh Thank you again for the help. Seems we we lost a few sheep in the process, but uh, it's better than lives lost. Are there any dead sheep still here, or did the wolves? The take wolves away? were able to make off with all the sheep that they uh, grabbed. Uh, that was dinner, dude. Okay. Well, there's like okay. ten um, sheep left. That is sad. Or, one, two, three, there's four, five, sheep. six, well, seven, eight, nine, ten, like eleven, twelve. Wolves. Yeah, there's there's twelve sheep left. But, you know, that's, that's their sheep. <laughs> it's their Wait, livelihood. Are you gonna kill the commoner to take their sheep? I never said that. I was gonna, I was gonna use the dead bodies of the sheep. I was like, well, if the sheep are dead, you might as well, you know, but the wolves are- We have three Have some wolves. mutton. We can eat. I was, it, let me finish. <laughs> can I take my dagger and start like skinning the wolf? Basically, I want to get the meat and the, the pelt. Well, uh, you're gonna have to kill them because they're just unconscious. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna kill three of the just wolves? One. No, just, just one, one of them? Okay. Just one. just one of them, yeah. Um, I go up to, I take out my short sword and I go up and I stab the other two wolves. Make sure that they are also no longer along in the living. Okay. <laughs> um, so you- Hey, you... I have to make sure that I don't get attacked. I'm paranoid now because of the style of buff thing. <laughs> you don't want <laughs> nothing to jump you guys anymore? No. In fact, I'm half tempted now to decapitate it to make sure it doesn't come back. <laughs> I mean, it is just a wolf, so. <laughs> well, as far, I guess, as far as you guys know. Paranoia is awful. <laughs> okay, um. The uh, commoner kind of <clears throat> walks up to you uh, after thanking you and, and says, uh, "So are are you guys here for that eight hundred dollar bounty? Or eight hundred dollars? Eight hundred gold? Eight hundred dollar bounty? There, there, there was a bounty." Lucius is prick up and just say, "We are now." <laughs> mm, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Of course, when there's money involved, you finally talk up. But when there's not, you are useless. The kind of looks at you and says, well, Excuse you know, me. I'm just doing rogue things. I'm just doing rogue things. Okay. Um, right, right. <laughs> uh, the, Does that involve oh, hitting on merchants? Say again? I said, does, does that involve hitting on merchants as you're trying to steal their wallet? <laughs> yes. Oh, you were talking to Lushu. Got you. Um, mm -hmm. okay, let's see, uh, they, obviously they, uh, realize that you don't know anything about this bounty, and, uh, he kind of looks over at you and says, well, my name's Jacob, and, uh, we've, we've had a, a bounty out for quite some time now, we've been, uh, our town's been getting raided by wolves, um, I could have sworn you would have heard, but, uh, we just need someone to take care of them. There's an 800 gold reward. And uh, th we kind of figured that's what you were on your way here for. Seeing He kind of looks behind and says, seeing you guys were uh, traveling on the way, on the road to the to Welton. Is that not where you're headed? Sorry, what was the name of the uh, sheep murderer? We, we are on our way to Welton, yes. Jacob. Uh, 
Pancake did um, reply, by the way. Yeah. Um, he kind of says, uh, for any particular reason? Uh, we are going to... We, we were just in the next town over. And our friend got the life force sucked out of him by this mysterious goo. And we were told that Welton might have the answer. Yeah, um, if you remember back to last time we played, uh, this is the reason why you were to go to Welton, was because of the wolves. Uh, they, they, there was a little ping on the what little global map that something weird was happening in Welton. Yeah, but that's... Okay. Yeah, we can just okay. retcon that real quick. <laughs> so, uh, you want to change what you say? Because you weren't aware no, of the bounty. You could say you were here to come you. investigate the wolf problem, but you weren't aware of the bounty. Uh, we, we were coming to investigate the wolf problem, but we were unaware that there was a bounty on it. And, uh, Jacob kind of <laughs> finds a, a big old rock to sit down, and he kind of sits down, and he says, Well, I'm, I'm an honest man, and yes, there's an $800, 800 gold bounty. Wipes more sweat from his brow. He's like, please forgive me, I'm gonna... You mind if we sit down and rest for a minute? Sure, go ahead. Okay, as a... Uh, I, I guess I will have you speak more particulars of the job to my friend Lushu here. You're... Oh, you want him to speak to Lushu? Talk money, yes. Oh. He's like... Since, that's... you know, the road has to be good for something. Yeah, he, he just says, was like, that's what it's for, is get rid of the wolves. Uh, they've been causing problems with our settlement for uh, a while now, and we, we can't seem to track them down. We can't seem to get rid of them. And uh, our town mayor has finally gotten sick of it and has uh, offered up an 800, 800 gold bounty to uh, take, take them out. Okay. Well, uh... I, uh turn to my party members, and I'm like, well, what do we think? I think we should go and talk to the person who put the bounty up. He said it was the mayor, sorry, mm -hmm. who put the bounty up. Mm -hmm. So I think we should go and talk to the mayor, see if uh, anyone has more information on, like, you know, maybe habits of the wolves, where they like to run off to, you know, which area they usually come from, uh, to narrow it down a little bit. Um, yeah, that would be my suggestion. Try to get a little bit more information. Okay, um, as you, you kind of, did you say this out loud or were you thinking it? I was saying it out loud. Okay, um, as you're saying that, uh, the other commoner coming to walks over and says, uh, to no one in particular, just kind of bringing information over, he, Doggo's looking okay and his, uh, his Doggo's looking a little slower, but uh, it's obviously not in uh, grave danger anymore. He says, of course this all started when that sorcerer, Father Merrickson's brother, upped and disappeared. Not that I'd hear a word against him, of course. It makes you think, don't it? And then uh, Jacob responds you, like... You said that... Uh... Uh, hold on a minute. Jacob responds says, uh, First sign of something out of the, the usual was going on came when uh, the Petersons up on uh, Spurks Hill had a dozen sheep snatched from inside a barn. Their boy got thrashed something awful for failing to close it. But a week later, the exact same thing happened. Even old Peterson had locked him, locked it up himself. I think we should go and talk to that family. I think that's probably the wiser <laughs> thing to do. Because a mayor's... Uh, I'm saying this out loud, by the way. There's only so much a mayor is going to know. He sits on a chair all day, sort of away. Whereas this family have actually encountered this thing. Um, maybe we should go and talk to them. Okay. Um, so you're going to try to go up to, uh, Spurrix Hill? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you might want to ask one of us needs where to it's go at. And, and get more information from the mayor. What's closer? Uh, Spurrix Hill is, uh, further than, uh, Welton. I mean, it's just outside of Welton, but you'd have to walk pretty much around or through Welton to get to it. Okay. Well, 
maybe we should go and see the mayor on the way. So they're gonna pass through Welton if we're going that way anyway. Okay. Um, so you just want to follow or go with the shepherds uh, to Welton? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Um, after a we'll walk with them and their sheep. Yeah. After a you know twenty minute break or something of just kind of relaxing, making sure uh, the sheep are all accounted for, aside from the ones that you know got taken. And uh, checking that there's no uh, dangerous or grievous wounds. Um, you guys continue on your way uh, to Welton. Uh, you guys can talk with them on your way if you want, uh, if you have any additional questions. Uh, you have about maybe a 20 minute walk until you okay, enter city I limits. Ask, um, um, I know you said there was a week's difference between the events at the barn, but. How often do the wolves appear? Uh, Jacob responds just like, "We we haven't been able to track down a pattern. It's uh, we just always have to be on guard when uh, walking outside city walls. They, even city walls don't seem to be uh, protected, as we just mentioned. Uh, a locked barn seemed to do nothing." Okay. Um, what type of locks are the, on the barn? Is it just normal iron? Yeah, were the locks broken or removed and not found, or they were unlocked? They're just tampered with. They're unlocked. They, they, oh. It's like a, a barn door, you know, the little big old piece of wood that can thunk. the latch thing. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> other commoner just kind of perks them, says, "Old shepherd named Grimstone of Carnaby Way." Was watching his flock when he heard calling from the trees begging for help. Well, he runs off to check what was wrong, but he couldn't find so much as a gnome out there. Well, if he's away, guess what? Doesn't his sheep just up and disappeared? This is sounding very boy who cried wolfish. You say that out loud? No, I'm thinking it in my head. Okay. Um, as you guys are uh, um, walking, continue walking through the town, they kind of just bring up some additional stories. That they, obviously, they realize you guys are interested in uh, sort of information, so they kind of give some more. Uh, Jacob says, uh, uh, Jacob says, a month or so ago, a band of blokes from the village went out to hunt the wolves, track them back to their den, but as soon as they were in the darkest part of the woods, they were ambushed. Uh, wasn't there myself, but some of them tell of a, a booming thunder and others bursts of fire uh sound like an unholy mess anyway a halfling uh named featherrock decent shepherd was hurt real bad in the fight all the others thought he was dead but next morning he's found dumped on uh wesley's doorstep near the woods poor man ain't been the same since tells wild tales of voices in the night cracked in the head they say hmm I uh, look at Lucio and I say, you need to add him onto the list of people to talk to. So like in your microphone, I couldn't really hear you. I, I said, um, I add him onto the list of people to talk to. Okay. Sorry, what was the guy's name again? Farmer... Wesley. The Halfling? See, that's the one. Oh yeah, no, the Halfling, yeah. The Halfling is oh. Featherrock. Uh, Wesley... Featherrock is uh, the guy's who, who doorstep that he was dropped off on. Um, as he sees you making notes of, like, people to uh, talk to, uh, he speaks up and he says, Wheatley! Uh, or, uh, we'll say the other commoner. I'm not giving him a name. I uh, says, Wheatley, who sells pots, pans, and uh, ointments hereabout, was chased off this cart by a pack of wolves. Says they appeared from the trees as if by magic. When he went back with some village lads, the horses were gone, and so were three sacks of thick leather we were planning to trade. How far have we moved since um, the wolf attack? Oh, you're about a couple hundred feet. Like, okay, you, you're okay. just, you're about um, to walk into Welton. Uh, so, I mean, I did skin and, you know, fillet, shall we say, the, um, the wolf. Can I check the wolf's pelt or the meat or anything to see if it is an actual 
wolf and not some sort of like summoned creature because if it, they're appearing out of nowhere um, maybe someone's like, if it was know, a summoned creature up. it would uh it would vanish i can on death vanish. okay okay i can check to see if there's any arcana on the wolf right you can uh but i'll just Lingering tell you straight arcana? up it's a wolf okay okay it's a shepherd wolf okay um uh <laughs> I think. Too many other questions. Um, I think that's really all I need to know at the moment. And how long ago did this start? Like, when did this all first really start? How many months ago or weeks? Uh, the the attacks. Yes. Um. He. He kind of thinks a minute. He says, well, he kind of looks over his compatriot, compadre, friend, whatever, and says, uh, when did, uh, when did, uh, Father Merrickson's brother disappear? And then, uh, he kind of responds and says, um, I don't know, two, three months ago? Was it around a full moon? Uh, not that I recall. Although, we be shepherds, we do our work in the daytime. Well, I assume so. Is there anyone that's on night duty for the sheep that we can talk to? Not really. Nighttime, we try to keep the sheep up in the barns and save pastures and all. You know, wolves may not be, or sheep may not are not the brightest and wander off get themselves killed so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and ask about the barn again that was um unlocked <laughs> um i'm gonna ask so the barn did did anyone find any tracks outside any uh, footprints it says nah there are, well maybe jacob responds like um you would have to you would have to talk to the Oh, what was the name? Mm, um, Grimstone? No. Forgot the name. Oh, I didn't get that one. Mm -mm -mm. Feather Peterson. The half Peterson. Anything. That was it. Peterson. It was Peterson in Spurrocks Hill. Um, he said, you'd have to talk to uh, the Petersons to find out. Peterson, there we go. We just thought okay. it was someone playing a plank. But uh, no one would risk uh, the livelihood of uh, a town's member uh, by getting rid of uh, their animals. And uh, who was the, the child that you said now that one of the people had hurt? What was their name? Uh, the child? The yeah, you said the that they yeah, named uh, the kid. Uh, Peterson's boy, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. well, the the boy didn't get hurt from whatever happened there. Uh, Peterson pretty much you gotta whoop beat it. his kid because he thought he didn't lock up the barn. Mm. He didn't mm. necessarily, like, beat him, but, okay, you know, I it's like, you left the door open, you idiot. Oh, it just kind of scolded thing. him. Yes, yeah, scolded him. I thought he made No, no, he didn't like beat him up or anything. He just beating. scolded him. Um, I think that's all the information we're gonna get out of the shepherd. Okay, you guys are uh, approaching. The members, see if they agree. You're approaching Welton anyway. Um, it's just on the banks of a slow-moving river. Uh, river, river, river with uh, gentle river. hills rising up on each side. Uh, you walk in. Uh. To the town, and the houses and shops are generally made of oak, uh, brightly or painted bright white. Many have uh, elaborate carvings uh, worked into the eaves. Uh, wheat and sheep farming dominate the local economy. Uh, many people pay much more attention to the weather and the wool prices than rumors of distant wars or disasters. Uh, as you're kind of walking through the city, you're kind of staying with the the shepherds as they kind of walk through. A uh, vast majority of the population are human, though there's a si sizable minority of halflings uh, and uh, maybe a handful of dwarves. Uh, while there's no means a rich village, uh, Welton isn't poverty-stricken e either. 
Um, Those middle class. Okay. Yeah, they're 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 well enough off. Comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. And what direction would we be able to find the the mayor? Oh, uh, you asked the shepherd, or uh, Jacob? Yeah. Yep. Um. Let's see. He kind of thinks to himself. He's like, well. We'd either be in the mayor's building, or he kind of looks up at the the sun and just kind of thinks to himself, or he might be uh, in the in the in the shepherd's crook, a uh, little uh, I almost said brothel uh, tavern, uh, just over yonder. And kind of shifts over his head over. It would have been funny had you said a brothel. You can find the mayor in the brothel. Oh, casual. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Normal Thursday evening for him, is it? Okay. Yeah, cool. it's just it's just a uh, little little inn <laughs> off in the distance. He, he just wants okay. dances. That's all he wants. He just wants to see them dance. Right. He likes the company. They're paying yeah. for med school. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, then we'll, I think we should so, uh, make a visit, maybe? Do we want to try the pub first? What'd you say? I said, do we want to try the pub to see if we can find the mayor first there? Also, Corin, you're still in panther form. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, you and I, Kiri had just been chilling the whole time. <laughs> you, you, you get out. I'm, I'm just, you know, joking with you. I kind of figured you popped out, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so her and Carrie had just been chilling, and then she randomly like, boom, hi. Yeah, poofs back into normal. Shepherds freak out. I would have popped out after combat. <laughs> um, so you guys head to the Shepherd's Crook. Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, as, as I you feel like based off the time that the Shepherds were trying to consider, it would probably be the safer bet. Okay. Uh, you you walk up and uh, you kind of peer into the this inn uh it's an ancient inn it's one of the oldest and largest buildings in the village uh sitting opposite both the growers hall and the fleecers hall it is a, a traditional inn with a common room at the front uh private dining and meeting room at the back and uh some guest rooms are upstairs um there's a seems there's a lot of people in the village right now it's it's always crowded uh there's tanned and weathered beaten shepherds in woolen cloaks um smoke stem pipes while drinking cider and uh muttering amongst themselves uh small groups of young women and uh women nurse their drinks and mostly stay quiet um you walk in uh the innkeeper is a dwarven woman named lenner i sh shouldn't tell you that yet there's a <laughs> the innkeeper is a little dwarven wo woman uh who runs a bar and uh in the kitchen I walk up with Lu Shu and I uh, get the bartender's attention. Okay. Politely. Okay, I need a sound. Let's see. How's this sound? That's fine. Um, we're gonna see. Okay. How do how do dwarves sound in this world? All right. Just trying to do a Scottish accent. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what voice I'm doing. I'm just going to run with it. Hello, friends. Take a seat here. Good thing. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm? The wild thornberries. Oh, I love wild thornberries. That's a great show. <laughs> um, so you, you, Cereal, you, or uh, Lucia, you went and got a, you want a, a drink? Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a cider. Okay. You, seeing as everyone else is enjoying a cider. So go ahead, go ahead and order that. So yeah, I will go to the bar. Um, and I'll say, uh, yes, uh, drinks. I'll have all of a cider, please. Fresh cider, pound off the tap. And she kind of fills it up and pushes it down the, the bar way towards you. So, what brings you to Welton? Right, um, flick the coin towards her. Thank you. Um... We are looking for the mayor. We 
were told that there was a job that needed to be done. She kind of, kind of perks up and her eyes gleam. She's like, you're here to help with the world problem. Well, we are looking into it, yes. And we were wanting more information too, which is why we needed to discuss it with the mayor. She's like, fantastic. I keep changing her accent and her voice, but deal with it. Um, uh, she, uh, upon hearing that you're here to help with the, the wolf problem, she gets a, a very excited and she actually flicks your coin back to you, uh, Lushu, and says, uh, bring round of drinks and a meal once you've uh, talked to the council. Uh, is the council here then? Why, well, yes, of course. Just down there, through that little. Mm, area you'll find the uh, the council meeting is just about to begin you might want to hurry i grab lucio by the back of his collar and drag him down there <laughs> <laughs> you you uh, bring your drink with you lucio <laughs> i'm assuming yeah. you only a couple sips in okay uh as you head to the council he, he just he's accepted this at this point <laughs> uh the meeting is being held in a a plain room uh, centered around a large wooden table. Uh, there's eight chairs set around it. Uh, five of the chairs are filled uh, with human men, one by a human woman. Excuse me, two by halflings. Uh, one is a male, one's female. As uh, the party approaches, uh, you're able to hear raised voices. And when you enter, uh, a male halfling uh, begins to kind of... Oh, we got to speak up. Change the little sound here. Uh, halfling... Um, uh, is you can he, uh, he's arguing with a a human who's dressed in uh, priestly robes, and uh, it, you can overhear them. They're arguing about uh, whether or not the village should stop exporting its grain and other food while the crisis with the wolves remain unresolved. Okay, so do we do we overhear them um, talking about anything else? Uh, anything that I could let you know, just ooh. Uh, that's mostly what you hear right now is um, whether and how okay, how they're going right. to deal with the wolves, okay. what they're going to do with their exports because it's dangerous. Okay, well I'll approach them and I'll say, so I, I hear you have a wolf problem. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> the halfling. Angrily turns around, uh, obviously upset for being interrupted. He says, Who are you? To interrupt this council meeting. Said, I am an elf who is Why about six Lushu? foot taller than you. <laughs> I'll say it again. Lushu, stop it. <laughs> I'll say it again. I heard you had a wolf problem and we we're here to help. <laughs> Could you, he's like, I walk oh, up to oh, the wolf problem. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Um, he says, I am Tilius Merriam of the Growers and Buyers Association. My esteemed associate here is Father Merrickson. We are just arguing. No, uh, no, he's going to say, we are just discussing, some say arguing, about whether or not, uh, uh, whether, how we should handle these wolf problems, and it seems that fate has intervened for us with an answer. Can't just look back with a smile and say, so what do you need us to do? Uh, you talk to, uh, the halfling? Yes. He's like, well, I want them gone. That's what the 800 gold piece uh, reward is for. Is that not why you are here? Can I try to roll either intimidation or persuasion to see if I can make it a thousand gold? Sure. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Alright, hold up. And what? What's gonna happen is they're gonna decrease it if you fail. Right. Uh, skills, here we go. Um, persuasion I'm actually proficient in. So I'm gonna roll a persuasion. If it's not angrily, I don't think they'll uh, reduce it, to be honest. This is more of a cheeky <laughs> persuasion. Uh, mm. <laughs> so yeah. mid numbers, isn't it? It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he kind of. Oops, I lost my thing. He kind of 
looks at you questioningly and then uh looks around the room and kind of says quietly he's like that is all this town has been able to gather for wiping out these moves as you can see I, uh... i'm sure as you saw as you walked into town there was many people that were uh a little bit worse for wear. A little going hungry. I assure you. 800 is the highest we've been able to gather. I'm sorry, we can ask for no more, but... Free lodging okay. and other small favors, but 800 is all we can offer. I, uh, I walk up beside Lucio and I shove him away. And I said, I... I apologize for my compatriot. Um, he... Was he was trying to make a joke, a very very badly peeled <laughs> mannered joke, but a joke. Um, we were hoping we could discuss and get more information about the job from you, if you would be so kind as to have a meeting with us. Jesus. Well, that's what is going on right now. Feel free to sit and join. Uh, we will gladly take you up on the offer. And I think that's a good stopping point, basically. You guys good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm good, though. Cool. Um, we can definitely pick up next week, hopefully. With I think we're all just tired. <laughs> yep. With everything uh, happening, hopefully everyone is happy and healthy for next week, and we can continue on there. Uh, we will pick up on the council meeting and any decisions that get made there. And, uh, yeah. Um, oh, also, friends, be sure to level up your characters um, because you leveled up after that last fight. Um, oh, yay. So if you update them on D&D Beyond, I'll get them into the, the game system. And uh, we can continue on as level fives for next week. Woo. And hopefully we'll have a awesome full party spell. then. Hail of thorns. Yes. <laughs> um, everyone give your love to Miss Creation. Hopefully she's feeling better. But, um, yeah, I'll go make sure she's yes, right. I yeah. hope she feels better. Good man. Uh, I'll go give her some cuddles in that. <laughs> Are you guys good? You got anything to say? Any questions, concerns, comments? Thank you for watching. I know that we are uh, still trying to get in and learn, and sorry for being so tired. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. It happens. <laughs> but it's everyone's good. tired today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, Dude, next week we'll be wide awake and, and prepped. Then... <laughs> but you got guys woken up at like 7 30 <laughs> all good all right my friends let's uh say goodbye to chat and then i'll do sign off all right guys see you later. Watching. Have a good... see you later guys thanks for watching see you next week <laughs> all right my friends uh we're gonna call it here at least for the D, &D stream um yeah like we said everyone's either sick or we're all tired, um, so it kind of doesn't, you know, you don't feel good as a player if you're not able to give your full bit, which is fine, you know? It's always good to take breaks and stuff when you need, um, but I had fun. I will be updating um, all our players and their levels once they get those in, um, but I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps us out a lot. Let's us know like what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, we'll continue this next week. Hopefully, uh, wrapped up the little bit of a uh, Welton campaign, and then the week after, Rokax should be joining us again, and uh, we'll, they should be able to. Actually, I'm not going to say that because spoilers. Um, but we'll figure out what's going to happen then. Uh, but I hope you guys had fun. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. I already did that part. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much need. I had the uh, forest sounds playing as they were in the town. Well done, Dungeon Master. Well done. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in with us, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Go! Move! There it goes. Bye, friends!